Grumpy needs his voice back, too. Aww. <laughs> Nothing. <gasps> yeah! 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 Yay! Thank you. Thanks for letting me borrow it. It's a very nice voice. Oh, well, yes. I sort of like it. Yay, Grumpy! Uh, um... What? Weren't you going to say something else? Yeah, but then I thought, eh, talk less, listen more. Well, mission accomplished here. Time for us to go. Thank you, Care Bears. We promise not to borrow anyone else's voice ever again. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Bye! Bye! Yourself charade champs? <laughs> Anyone can see she's throwing a boomerang. Seriously, lucky guess. Nice job, Dibble. Thanks, Glumpy. Cheer! Yo, Cher, wanna play? All right. <laughs> How about this? <laughs> to take more than hugs. It's going to take something we've never done before. A combination group hug and Care Bear stare. The Care Bear's power hug. Yes! yes. Let's, Let's do, do this! Maybe not. She said, thank you. You're very welcome. And now, could you please find it in your heart to make a home for him, too? Mama, Mama! I have a Mama. This all has been so amazing! The hearts brought the chicks to their mother, and they brought you to us! Those hearts are like hugs. And you know what I always say? A good hug always knows what to do! Please stay, stay! I wish I could, Dibble, but Tenderheart must be worried about me. Oh, I wish get home! Somehow, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Like I say, a good hug always knows what to do. Take Bye, Liz! Take Mama! Let's be on a march, villains! Quick! The red can make a special delivery. <laughs> oh my! A nice bouncy ball for us to play with! Oh, I know! You throw it and I'll catch it! <laughs> Red line! Red line! Delighted! But really, seeing as it was your idea, and a very good one if I may say so, you should throw first. 
here. Oh. Wait! What are we leaving for? There's oh. only eight of them. Nine, if you count the whiffle. Oh. Yeah, boss, so chill. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get him home and thaw him out. <laughs> Talk to Robbie. The snow from Malcolm's gadget will start to melt tomorrow. Tomorrow the sun will shine, and we'll head back to the silver lining. Huh? But for now, here's to sharing and caring with good friends. She's getting away with that. Happy. <laughs> Oh, 
Anybody got the license of the truck that hit us? <sighs> so, you won. Well, congratulations. Ah! <laughs> huh? <laughs> Your wish is now ungranted. You mean I'm not funny anymore? Yeah, only when you want to be. And you're okay with me not being your comic partner? <laughs> it would have been a hoot and a half, but I tell you what. When I was out in the silver lining, I found a whole new audience. You did? It's... The Wiffles! There must be a zillion of them, maybe more. I can tour the silver lining and they'll never get tired of my humor. It's what you always wanted. You said it. And from you, I also learned a lesson. I won't make them laugh from any magic spell. I'll make them laugh through the magic of humor! <laughs> hey, works for me. Anyone seen Funshine? Where did he get to this time? Did somebody call for Mr. Comedy? <laughs> Ta-da! Um, oh, boy. Will you quit clowning around and get to work? Whew, they didn't laugh. Yes! Oh, thank you guys, thank you! What's that is the best about, thing Jeff? I heard all day! <laughs> Good idea, Dibble! You go, Dib! Quick! Bear Pyramid! Cool! Yes. All right! <gasps> <laughs> Grump cakes to the guest of honor, our hero, <laughs> Dibble. Speech, 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 speech! Dibble, not hero. First too small, then too big, then too small again. Just goes to prove it's not how big or small you are, it's what you do with what you have. And you did great. Oh, yeah, Dibble, just the right size. But didn't get to Billy's. Not to worry. Easy pickings. They don't call me Mac the Lumberjack for nothing. And they don't call you Dibble the Great for nothing either. You're my hero for sure. Sometimes we were silly, sometimes we were serious. But he thought that playtime was all the time. If it was up to him, we'd never have any fun. He was always acting silly. He got us into big trouble. Oh, no. It got so bad, we began to magically change from one to the other. He's always goofing off. And he's always trying to stop me. Oh. Oh, why can't you leave me alone? Oh, why can't you behave? You're a bully. You're a goof off. Mag clown. Till you behave. Wait, please. You need to accept each other. There's time to have fun, and there's time to tone it down. He'll never learn. He'll never listen. Look, I'm a no-nonsense kind of guy. But even I know you gotta kick back and have fun sometimes. No one likes fun more than me, but there are times when you gotta buckle down and do what you gotta do. Go ahead. 
You can do it! Well, I'll try if you will. From Riffle Sub, the Clatter Track Mugger's Happle. Clatter Track Group friend to Riffles. So glad to see you. Ooh, thanks. The right place, the right time. Mission accomplished. Times two. Awesome race in there, Rocky. It was fun, but a bet's a bet. I guess me and mine will be rolling away. Thanks for the laughs. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. So See you long. Plants. <laughs> Poor Wiffles. No matter what they do, everything is struggling. Even the master can't keep a seedling healthy. Here, I've got the info. According to the records, while the rumbler's behavior might be considered rude, it's invaluable to the environment. Their antics turn stony ground soft. Their instincts lead them to find unplantable ground, then they improve the soil and move on. In fact, their arrival is a sure sign that the soil is in desperate need of pulverizing. Ah, oh, thanks, bedtime. That explains why the Wiffles can't get anything to grow. We fail to appreciate the unique talents of our noisy neighbors. You mean I messed up, big time. If the garden is to flourish, we have to get the rumblers to return. That's on me. I made them go, I'll bring them back. Is that what I think it is? Yep, looks like Funshine got the rumblers to race him back here. They couldn't resist the challenge. Oh, yay! <laughs> It'll only be a few more days. When the rumblers are done playing, the soil will be ready. Then they'll move on. You'll dig it, your mastership. Your plants will grow humongous. Good news. Dibble and I have been in the workshop whipping up something we all need. Earplugs. Ta-da! Watch out, Rumblers! Here come the Rumblers! Everything will be all right. I've brought my bloom bubbles with only minutes to spare. Uh, careful now. Easy, uh, easy. Uh, no worries. I weighed it down even more, so there's no chance it can float away. Uh, uh. Whoa! Oh, no! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Look, everyone! They're beautiful. More beautiful than I could have dreamed. I... I don't understand. I think I do. It was because of our friend Good Luck. When he broke the reverse control, it kept us from backtracking and wasting time. Taking the short, steep road was faster than the long, easy road. And that crazy noise from the engine helped you find the Cloud Seeker. And when he dropped the trunk, it mixed the bubbles together. And that's what made the flowers so very beautiful. <laughs> Maybe my bad luck wasn't all bad after all. Yeah, guess it wasn't at that. Well, you coming? Before we go get the scooters and take the wizard home, we gotta repair the engine. We? Yeah, you're helping me. Oh, yeah! Good luck is bad, baby! It worked! Ha! We can leave 
whenever we want. Wait, look. Huh? Did you program it to do that? Me? Oh, would I do a thing like that? <laughs> Uh, sorry, boss. Uh, ex-boss. You'll just have to hang out here for the rest of the week until the time lock opens. Don't worry. Leaving you in there with only each other for company isn't the Care Bears' way. Too bad. So we're going to share with you all our food, fun, and music. All our caring. Everything that goes into a Care Bear summer vacation. What? Crank up the sound. Come on. <laughs> To number uh, four, the boss. Five, the eleven, boss doll. Number seventeen. Awesome. Cloud Seeker, can you hear me? Got your control. We're okay. Have quite a story to tell you. What? You were amazing. I scratched your paint job. Huh? It's only paint. Cheer Bear, the Cloud Seeker is yours to pilot. Take care. I'll miss you. Whoever that guy was, he'll be back. Soon as we're gone, and he's fixed that junk jalopy of his. She is right. His name is Bluster. Ages ago, he made a deal with the Elder Care Bears. He'd stay out of the silver lining, and the bears would leave him alone. It appears he's broken the agreement. Care Bears, we have a new mission. Protect the Wiffles so they can do their job of growing Carolot. A mission to save the silver lining and save Carolot. And stop that bluster guy along the way. Oh, yeah! Moses. Definitely. Would you look at that? Majestic mountains, beautiful lakes, spectacular waterfalls. Good place for a vacation. <laughs> Dibble! <laughs> is, is everything okay? Dibble! Dibble! Home! Home! Absolutely! Do it. Congratulations, Grumpy! You did it! Couldn't have done it without you, Cheer. Thanks for encouraging me. Look! Thanks, little Grumpy! Aw, uh, don't mention it. Well, guys, 
It looks like mission accomplished. Let's go, Grum Powerbot. Good work today. Grum Powerbot happy. Grum Powerbot real bad, buddy, now. Bears make Pokeballs happy. Bears make Ripples happy. Ripples thank bears. Bye, bye. The Kaleidoscope! If we can wire this thing up to the generator and run it through the pipes, maybe, just maybe... Come on, my friend. <laughs> Time to spread some gloom and doom! Sound like my kind of fun! Why don't they give it up? Their goodness doesn't have a chance against concentrated badness! Do you think it'll work this time? Yep. Only needed one more thing. This. Dibble's idea. A kaleidoscope. When our Care Bear Steer passes through its mirrors, it'll create a supercharged cloud of caring. Is everyone ready? Yeah, yeah. let's do it! I'd call it work. <laughs> With you, Dibble? Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. oh, thank you. Follow us. We'll lead you there. Just point the way, and we can go together. Detector, it found the water. What are you doing? 
Why'd you point it at the sky? Because that's where the water's going. Up there. Ah, but we can all see there's nothing up there. I'm sorry, Funshine, but Grumpy's right. The only logical explanation is the detector isn't working right. Oh, it's working perfectly. The water's going into the sky. We can hear it, but for some reason, we just can't see it. Buster, that's enough! The tank can't hold much more! The other thing you gotta learn is being bad means there's no such thing as enough! <laughs> that's enough! The big blob and the bluster? <laughs> Let me ride! It's my bluster mobile! <laughs> we did it! Great detective Super work, cool. Sunshine! Oh, yeah. Gotta admit, you proved your point. I should have listened. Nah, bro. I understand why you didn't. How are you gonna believe me when I'm always pulling pranks? No more pranks. Uh, at least not for a while. <laughs> a long while. Hmm. Deep. You have a good heart. You will be a good gardener. <laughs> I'm proud of you for going through with this, Grumpy. Grumpy the King of Wiffles, not stay with us anymore? Don't worry, kiddo. It's all gonna work out. I hope. Thank you. And now I shall perform my official first act as your new head gardener. <laughs> <laughs> I'm truly sorry, mushroomy thingy. I realize now that someone might be hurt on the inside, even though it doesn't look that way on the outside. <sighs> I'm also sorry to say that I regret not wanting to be your new head gardener. <gasps> I still have so much work to do with my fellow Care Bears to keep the silver lining safe for all. But the most important reason is you deserve a better head gardener than I could ever be. So, using my authority as your new head gardener, I'm giving the job back to your old head gardener. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Rob, you're even more caring than the Care Bears! Ah! How dare you! You call me not. You call me caring! You call me a Care Bear! You call me sharing! I did not! You did too! That's it! I quit! You can't quit! You're fired! You can't fire me! I already quit! Can too! Cannot! Funny, why aren't you laughing? I got one more thing to do. Hello? Uh, hi, Mr. York. York. No, 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 I I'm not here to insult you. Look, I'm the one who ran into your toe and made fun of you. Hey, I never meant to hurt you. I was just trying to be funny, but I wasn't. I just wanted to say, I'm really sorry for your toe and and for hurting your feelings. Your 
It's all good, buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. He's back. There you go. Nicely done. Good for you, Funshine. I'm proud of you, kiddo. And that's no joke. Seriously, you guys gotta hear his bluster impersonation. Not now. But it was funny. Ready for Mr. Happy Face? Mr. Happy Face isn't feeling very happy right now. That's good. Funshine, have at it. Yeah, uh, that's it, Grumpy. Feel it. Uh, I can't. I can't be happy. It's just not me. But I can't be grumpy. Look what happened. It's okay. Just be yourself. Unleash your inner grump! Uh, uh, must get grumpy somehow! Bring out the grump in me! He did it! Quick, outside! Happy now. Maybe she'll like it. Like what, Mr. Happy? Grumpy? Come on. It's for Dibble. How sweet. Aw, Grumpy. I figured, hey, her home away from home. I wanted it to be perfect. And when I couldn't make it perfect, I got angry and took it out on you guys. Hey, Grumpy on the outside, good heart on the inside. Grumpy, 